Hi people, Punky here, welcome back to this channel. In this episode we have tier 6 German medium tank VK3002 and one of the best looking tanks in game. Just look at that. We will do this review from two main parts, this shot in garage part, then three fantastic games in this tank. One my, one random game live and one of your best games in this tank so let's start with appearance of this tank we already said it is fantastic looking tank you know it is uh, i would dare to say sexy tank and also it is huge target you don't believe me well let's compare it with a benchmark for size on my channel my red t34 that isn't red again i don't know why why that happens all the time so my red t34 you know back to vk and we can see it is much bigger you know so it's uh, actually designated that this tank as heavy tank because it is over for 45 tons you know and it was huge what about far power on uh, this tank that we cannot hide because it is too tall and huge so it has two guns in selection first one stock one is crap you know you will meet this uh, 7.5 centimeters l48 on you know panzer 4 and even on panzer 4 is uh, garbage that is why you're using that derp Hovitzer 105, ah sorry Germans, 10.5 centimeters. So this one, this one is much better, like you can see 14.3 runs uh, per minute rate of fire, uh, not uh, bad, you know. What is good is penetration 150 with, uh, you know, standard AP runs, 194 with gold APCR runs and 38 with HE shells. You can use them on this gun, but they are nothing special, you know. So, 135 alpha, that is something like okay-ish for medium tank in, you know, tier 6, but often you would wish that you have more because uh, sometimes this tank will stand there as a little bit anemic. 0.35 accuracy on 100 meters that is uh, pretty good you know and 2.3 seconds aiming time that is just average for medium tanks most of medium tanks have that exact number so you will work uh, with that so what about armor on paper very good 85 millimeters uh, frontally on hull and 40 all around so you think okay it is very well angled you know back uh, I mean uh, upper plate and this lower plate but they are actually crap you know everything will pain you uh, turret is much stronger especially with this gun mounted you know you have 100 millimeters plus this gun mounted they will struggle to pen that if you're hold down and on turret also 45 on uh, side and rear nothing special so what about driving it is pretty fast on straight line 55 kilometers per hour 20 in reverse also very good but what is bad is acceleration and uh, traverse speed turning you know there is no agility in this tank so you will be like eh, you know turning very slow bad traverse speed uh, like with most of uh, big heavy german tanks so that is bad equipment and uh, ammo and crew well i using binoculars that are not here for extended view range so you can spot with this tank too uh, it has very good view range gun length drive for faster aiming and gun ramming for you know faster reloading so you would have a better far power on this tank that is uh, lacking you know so here for ammo, I'm not using full load, 64 rounds of AP rounds, 21 of APCR, and that is, uh, you don't need that many of APCR, but uh, that is how we roll. Uh, and we are in conquest for third mark of excellence too. So for crew, I will say just uh, this thing, go uh, for, you, you, you know, first six cents and whatever. You want uh, situational awareness for radio operator, safe storage, you know, for loader. But most important here is actually driver because tank is, like we said, sluggish, uh, not very agile. Uh, well, not agile at all. So, 
uh, on driver you want first you know clutch braking go for clutch braking then off-road driving then smooth ride then whatever you want so that is that for this in garage part let's see now that awesome gameplay okay our first battle is here on uh, steps map yay i was in platoon with washer he's in his faithful badged uh, su 100 you know and it was still seven match let's see uh so we decided okay this tier 7 match they have some pretty strong tanks but we have e25 too and uh, let's use speed of this tank you know you see now when finally manages to accelerate you know it can go fast decently fast so wow m4 good job good job dude though somehow you are either spotted or they shooting blind don't know what happened there but we'll finish this job that we started you know we'll make nest for our tank destroyer here so let's see a uh, cheeto spotted yeah he bounced that shell went straight where we aiming you know i was hoping it will deviate a little bit but when you hoping it will do it it never does you know but even you trying to hit that uh, you know exact spot even on 50 meters you will miss that is the power of rng so this tank is pretty happy with just sitting here and sniping in distance and that is what these tanks did in uh, a real world you know what? Panther rushing? No, that never happened. So, they never went, you know, forward. Even uh, Tigers who were kind of built for that, you know, for breaches. <sighs> I almost sneezed. Uh, they never did that. Or uh, they rarely did that. Sometimes in uh, France against them for Shermans, you know, those are really bad things. So they would, you know, go uh, against line of Shermans, you know, parallel to them, shoot first tank, shoot the last, well, first they would from ambush shoot first and last tank, and then they would just go and bang, 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 and uh, kill those Shermans, and that happened a few times. But even that, you know, it was just few times. So strength in Tiger 1 and Panther and, uh, well, Panther okay, already a little bit better armor. Uh, but let's say VK and Tiger 1 is in sniping. So they are, after all, some sort of, uh, you know, tank destroyers. Well, every tank is in the end tank destroyer. You know, that uh, classification, it is just uh, small margins, you know, uh, between them. Uh, so, now, while well, we we kind of losing this position, so I want to go down to shoot that Chiri, but I think maybe E25 is near R, E25 somewhere there, and he can shoot me then. So there is Cromwell, now I am spotted you know playing on my turret now but yeah we blocked that e25 round but we cannot block he round from uh, from you know artillery i don't know where that went but uh, let's see we still holding this position you know not the greatest gun depression it is just okay you know but just because this tank is uh you know pretty long you know so it is not bad gun depression just long tanks tend to uh, you know ruin that uh, gun depression 
And now there is SU-100 spotted there. I auto lock him for some reason. And I'm still spotted here somehow. So I move just in right moment because he was shooting on me and that tank has huge stalinium gun, you know. I don't know why I didn't switch to manual aiming here. But let's see, can we spot anything? So we are leading, you know. Our heavy tanks decided to push left side. There is E25. I, uh, I was, you know, deciding should I uh, shoot or not. But on that guy, I can't shoot because he is behind that uh, branch. And then I auto lock him and probably I missing because he is behind uh, that uh, ridge. So I, I was sitting a little bit more here, then artillery appeared running in totally wrong direction, you know. Again, I'm very careful just because E25 and even Super Hellcat, they have good view range. So... 1000 HP of damage done and almost 1500 assistance damage. 8 8, we lost heavy tank number 6, Japanese Tiger. And there is SU 100 spotted again by our friend uh, Washer Dryer in SU 100. I know it is not uh, SU 100J, it is SU 100Y. But, uh, you know, I uh, I uh, used to call it uh, like that, you know, before I noticed it is not J, it is Y. So it just stayed J. Okay, flat Panzer destroyed. And uh, now just some... small uh, amount of tanks left and two RT and they all rushing our King Tiger C you know they want that uh, tank dead so here you will see you know limitation of this uh, tank too let's just uh, wait for that moment Okay, there is SURT. And now watch this, now watch this. Okay, there is uh, Super Hellcat. One shot in move. Another shot in move. And he fired at us. Now just... Uh, you know, one shot uh, left and uh, I died. You know. So, actually that RT rush down there and can you believe RT did to us 130 by arriving and then that uh, super kitty uh, managed to destroy us there so you saw that you know it is fast tank but no agility there even super hellcat super kitty with that slow turret managed to you know trick us there and the RT did a good ramming. I don't know how the hell he managed to do that much to us. 138. But uh, it is okay. So Washer actually, you know, ditched that first shot. Well, actually he detracted there. And I don't know what happened there. Why he didn't fire immediately. But maybe he had uh, some problems with his uh, gunner or something. I don't know. Didn't show it on the uh, screen. Or he wanted to be sure that, you know, he will not miss because uh, this uh, gun, I assume, I don't know, probably doesn't aim in quick, you know. <laughs> 
so no e25 left and i was thinking oh boy uh what will happen there but uh, vk2801 was pretty good there and uh, he went after him and managed to destroy him after some time so e25 <laughs> powerful powerful td it is not easy to destroy one it has a lot of hit points it is slick you know some of your shots will even burn some of them will you know completely miss because it is so small silhouette but he is uh, done so there you go you know i could play that better you know without rushing on that super uh, kitty and that is also lesson for you so this tank is not for rushing so weak side that even that rt managed to do 138 ramming damage on our side now let's see post game data and who did what uh, in this game Okay, so we earned 20,000 credits clear, 31 shots fired, 21 on target, okay, accuracy, 9 tanks damage and we killed 2, that was uh, okay too, it is already on experience, 1,243 starts of experience, 2 kills and huge damage, best in both teams, <laughs> 2,539 HP, 4 tanks, uh, you know, spotted, we got high caliber confederate, for full effect bruiser, spotter and I'm bad for this tank and this game so let's see one live game okay time for one random game you know with a live commentary and hopefully we will put some new light on this uh, tank but also for sure you will hear my thoughts in uh, real time you know it will be helpful for you to see what I thinking you know how I reacting from first hand and uh, also for you new guys uh, it is very good <laughs> uh, for you uh, for you new guys um, you know you can copy my positions and tactics until you develop your own and hopefully that will help you have better games and more fun in this uh, game so it is very nice mm though we don't need to you know rush with this tank, never rush in this tank even in MM like this because you know this tank is sluggish you will see see turning slowly alpha damage is not great armor especially on sides is something that even tier 1 tanks can penetrate easy so you want to play uh, you know on your gun not uh, on your armor and speed uh, and do you know that when uh, Russians tried to classify this tank they were thinking is it a heavy tank had two uh, things that would make him classify him as heavy tank and that was too much weight and uh, too a uh, big silhouette you know it was huge uh, we don't have scouts here unfortunately so do we need to spot for ourselves here? Stug doesn't have view range. Oh no. Oh no. Please spot for me. Oh my god. Oh my god, this started very badly. So, uh, yeah, and they will struggle to uh, classify this tank, they were thinking is it a heavy tank or tank destroyer, you know, and unfortunately we didn't hit track there, okay, maybe now we did track it. Uh, why tank destroyer? Well, um, Russian said it is, you know, really huge. Is really huge and uh, it can shoot over targets uh, over uh, a rock like this you know and it had a really tiny armor on side so they were thinking okay it has a very good gun for sniping and uh, maybe it is tank destroyer you know Ch 
Chaffy, will Chaffy come here? Oh, this game started really badly, you know. This game started really shitty. Chaffy is going up. Okay, that gives us possibility to go back and to, to snipe, you know. But our uh, team mates, you know, they pushing too far, you know, that is stupid. Don't push. Let them come in. Let them come. Okay, it is short. It is shorter. You're probably thinking, oh, why you don't do something more, you know, here. But I said you need to have patience with this tank, you know. It is not really for uh, rushes. little bit here now maybe we have shots on these guys do they have art no okay come on guy try to spot me okay that is good Accuracy when fully aimed, not so bad, you know. Not so bad whatsoever. But uh, it can be, you know, problem. So here, let's see what they have there. Okay, it is Achilles. They don't have tank destroyers. Oh, I'm sorry, artillery. So we have far power to do this, you know. To discourage him until I can shoot in that KV and uh, bounce my shots. Okay, he found weak uh, spot for him there. Blood shot, no joy. And turret is strong, like he said, you know. Okay, Akil is dead. What is that? Uh, mate A1, you know. Mate A1 destroyed. Let's detract this dude. Not joy. Or maybe we did. Okay, we did. Let's just find that sweet. Okay, I was hoping that will go in. You know. No. Okay, this time we did. Penetrate. We didn't hit at all. Okay, that was a little bit stupid, you know. We could go forward. T3485, you know. He's only one left now, and uh, he can't be anywhere. But uh, he is. He decided to stay and fight auto aiming with right uh, mouse button. Oh, he has maybe same camo as me. Not really sure. So we we'll go to the right, you know. Auto things going there. We we'll go to the right. That guy is on three kills, so maybe he's not uh, too bad. You know, we need to be careful. 
and uh, for now maybe on that KVE I should switch you know to APCR but it is nothing uh, you know too important it wasn't you know so unfortunately T34 85 went there he ran that small mate A1 we using this bush to approach but there is rock between us two and uh, now we want to be, you know, just <laughs> subtle, but uh, gun, you know, this is not a uh, gun for clutches. There you go. And we will not feast on that thing, that is for sure. Oh, one shot in move, man, I should go in, so our third kill. So you saw it is... Um, you know, pretty strong for sniping. So after all, maybe Russians were right. Maybe this was tank destroyer. I wonder how good this vehicle would be if they just put this gun on some very fast, lightweight vehicle like, you know, Americans did with Hellcat. So that is uh, that, uh, just first class, uh, 1852 HP damage accumulates pretty fast, you, you wouldn't say, you know. And we earn 33,000, I think we didn't use APCR runs in this game. So now let's see that epic game, your game, your best game in this tank. Okay, your best game in this tank, uh, very nice looking camo, I don't know which one is uh, this, uh, but uh, let's see this game, it is, wow, <laughs> no, KV2, not that camo on KV2, please. Uh, so, it is weak tier 6 match, you know, we have tier 4 tanks too, he is going to over those, you know, small how to call them even I don't know hills there and a very good position for tank like this you know he can play on this uh, turret hopefully but uh, also if uh, they try to go there you know to uh, confront him maybe he will expose his weak side we will see that he trying to shoot in the move, you know, that uh, dude pushed him a little bit earlier and that looks with some fanatic uh, driving, you know, managed to escape and uh, yeah, still <laughs> running away a little bit bad aiming there. Okay, that is really bad aiming, maybe he had lag, you know, so not really sure about that oh no that was bad orange g detract finally and his uh, luck ran out i think come on one round one round anybody okay our guy got him you know when he was fur furthest you know from him uh but this camo really nice looking camo i, I just watching this uh, Wondering, probably he bought this because I don't know. Uh, I never saw this one in my garage. And uh, let's see. So we have some tier five uh, heavy and medium tanks here, but uh, Brett Panther above too. Whoa, KV2 with ugly camo decided to you know, do something. And there you go, KV2 is faster tank than this one, you know. Okay, that was free camera, sorry. Back in his uh, view. So, that dude is detract. I would detract him one more time. KV2 wants to take uh, 
that shot excelsior aiming forever maybe his uh, gunner is destroyed i mean wounded or injured or dead uh, KV-85 there, he's very careful to not expose too much, you know, fighting one tank by one. That is smart idea in this tank because this tank is also very happy to be the truck and uh, like we said, side is uh, garbage, you know. If you hit side of this tank with, uh, for example, a younger blood, uh, well, older brother, but, uh, you know, tank tier below Panzer 4 H inside well that will be you know full penetration usually Matilda you know awesome little tank but I guess uh, this uh, far power it doesn't have big chance there KV2 took uh, that Brett Panther and uh, it is 7 to 5 already, he has almost 2000 HP, he will run that little Swedish uh, tank destroyer. Well, in old days that would be, you know, a um, dead tank already with first ramming. I think they, you know, changed how ramming works because some tanks who were pretty good for ramming uh you know don't do as well another kill for him he has time to aim on that chiha while he rushed that shot not chiha chito okay even detract the there so yeah i think they did uh they uh changed something about ramming because uh that rt who hit me should be you know dead uh, doing maybe 60 hp to me with that run uh, but uh, maybe i'm mistaken you know so a lot of tanks went uh, in our base there is hetzer hetzer doesn't have u range hetzer dead you know Oh no, it is not our base, it is just uh, this, okay, I was confused a little bit. It is weird map, you know, so it is very easy to be confused. He joined in platoon with KV2 to get more medals. Uh, I would ban that, you know, I would ban that, I would, you know, this uh, dynamic platoons or however they calling them, you know, they are great, they are great, but I would uh, I would limit that to first one and half minutes, you know. You have all the time while you're waiting for the game to start, you know. And then you have additional, you know, uh, one and a half minutes to create platoon. And if you don't, well, no joy for you. Bang! And that is what we're expecting, you know, tanks to die when they're arming this uh, tank. So, there you go. EKV in full speed did just 45, though it was front end, but uh, never mind. Uh, just 45 HP. And that RT did 130, 68 to me, or 38, not sure. Look at that square. Okay, so guy, um, 40,000 credits clear, 45 shots far, 31 on target, okay, accuracy pretty good, 11 tanks damage and he killed 9, that is very good in 6 minutes of playing, let's set on experience, 1,660 stars of experience, 9 kills, you know, and 3,951 HP of damage, first in all 3, you know, by far and very, very good game uh three tanks spotted top gun for him high caliber brothers in arms crucial contribution a really waters medal for perfect duelist bruiser uh, hand of god and m badge for this tank and this uh, game so i hope you enjoyed in this one now let's just hear that final verdict for this tank and we can pack this uh, review in the end that question should you keep this tank or sell it as soon you unlock uh, you know next one in line 
and uh, my answer is well I play this tank uh, for 569 rounds you know it is okay sh if you are new in this uh, game you will struggle with this tank this tank you know uh, it needs your attention good awareness all the time you know this is hard working tank so we have just 55 percent swing ratio though it was my first uh, tier 6 medium tank so i was new uh, when i and new when i started so that is why here we have uh, some just you know a little bit uh, better than a bad damage ratio and destruction ratio but uh, maximum experience is 1,595, I'm okay with that, maximum damage in battle 2,944, most of these games were played where those uh, bottom tier tanks didn't have so much hit points like now, so that is why this much 7 destroyed tanks, uh, we didn't got that really voltage, 2 marks of excellence, we are going toward third, and then we will stop with this tank, we have even one scout medal, 17 high calibers, 5 kamikaze, ok it is good for arming, and some epic medals like Oskins, Levis Reches, Lelele, Dumitrius medal, and uh, what was that, Pascucci's medal, so, like you can see, uh, it is not a very special tank, but with a lot of skills and perks, this tank can work, so, my answer is, after all, no, you know, because uh, you can uh, have Cromwell or T-34-85 and invest your time in those things, you know, and uh, in those crews, you know, skills, perks, and they will provide much better game for you than uh, this one, much better, you know, win ratio and stats so that is why no but it is great looking tanks so if you want to keep it for that reason i will not blame you so one more time thank you for watching uh, i didn't say this before but if you have some questions about this tank or any tank or, or about uh, my style of playing or anything you know just ask freely in comments and um, like subscribe uh, hit that bell icon buy my merch because with no merch no chocolate with no chocolate no reviews bye okay this is everything i have saved for my ambages in this tank first one pobeda means uh, victory poras means defeat okay there is one uh, more recent and this is uh, the last one I recorded, you know, without this last uh, that we showed you. So, uh, yeah, one more time, thank you for watching, that is all, bye.